1994, the state of California passed the law of the zero emissions. And GM's EV1 came out in 1996 because they want very much like to catch the market of the California. The big oils heavily lobbying East Coast not to follow the same track as California did. Finally, GM called back all the EV1s from the market and crashed them in 2004. It's, 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 it's something to me like, like, like World War II, NAS. It's amazing, it's, it's very scary story here. Here is pure electrical car developed by Chinese Academy of Sciences. We used to have a dream, if we can produce a clean electricity, then we can drive our electrical car. However, if you look at this, as of today, it's all gasoline cars. So it makes our job even impossible. We need a revolutionary something happen. The white thorium. And why MSR? Low pressure here, which gives you more safety. We also end up with the high temperature here. We need high temperature. Because if you can go 900 degrees C, then we can use this energy to convert the CO2, which is not the waste at all. It's a, it's a raw material for our chemicals, in fact. We need the energy to convert it. We need the high temperature. There's all sorts of very, very interesting chemistry that we have actually never even been able to have the opportunity to look at because we've never had a cheap energy platform at those temperatures. With a heat platform like, like a, a molten salt reactor, you can do any number of high temperature reactions. We're still going to need liquid fuels for vehicles and machinery, but we could generate these liquid fuels from the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and from water, much like nature does. We could generate hydrogen by splitting water and combining it with carbon harvested from CO2 in the atmosphere, making fuels like methanol, ammonia, and dimethyl ether, which could be a direct replacement for diesel fuels. The whole planet's transportation system is gauged toward the consumption of a fossil fuel. There's an entire internal combustion infrastructure on the planet of uh, fuel delivery, automobile repair, service stations, roads. Imagine carbon neutral gasoline and diesel, sustainable and self-produced. Which is a, a way of getting the full life cycle out of the infrastructure we've already built up. Because you don't want to just abandon the infrastructure we've already built up. We have trillions of dollars of internal combustion engine machinery around, but we need to at least stop putting more stuff in the air. You can not only halt the increase of CO2 emissions, you can start to reverse what was there and reverse the coming calamity of global warming. The opportunities abound. I, I, I couldn't even tell you. I could, I, I just, there's, there's so many possibilities. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even want to predict. Wouldn't even want to.